Hi Pisces, welcome to your week ahead horoscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign, so whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Pisces, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings, Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. <clears throat> You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. Your key to the week this week is the death card. Endings, completions, culminations. This has been coming up a lot for you guys. And it's interesting because obviously the eclipse this week, or at the end of at the beginning of next week is going to be happening in the sign of Scorpio and I kind of feel like this is your psychic antenna energy uh, seeping into this and it's like ooh, okay so something's going to be coming to a grand completion remember this will be a grand culmination because it's a, a, a full moon lunar eclipse which is a you know a grand ending or completion the full moon itself is a time of endings and completions and culminations and it's all happening in the sign of Scorpio which is the sign where everything goes to die in order to be transformed so this is like a triple hitter week of endings and completions. If you haven't seen the Into the Multiverse video between the Midpoint of Magic and Madness, check it out, uh, especially because this whole week we are in between eclipses. We're in that eclipse portal. Um, now, for you, you have the death card. Yes, this is going to be a week of endings. But again, I really feel, and so, and the last time you had the death card, I said the same thing. But I feel like the message is the same. This is about you being very conscious and very deliberate about the things that you're moving away from now, about the things that you're letting go of and truly, truly deciding to release now, uh, which is great for your... Um, if you are a continued subby, you know I love you for it. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit the subscribe button. For your actions and options, you've got the Nine of Swords. Letting go of worry, check. Uh, releasing anxiety, check. Uh, deciding to throw out old self-sabotaging beliefs and tendencies, check. Um, the fact that you are releasing or choosing to let go of the Nine of Swords, really for me, it's, this is going to be a week where you're letting go of your worries. But this isn't just a case of waking up and being like, yeah, I'm not going to worry anymore. Or, no, I'm not doing anxiety today, which is actually really funny. <laughs> I think when my... <laughs> I think when mine flares up, I'm going to do that. Like, morning, high anxiety, not today, going to cancel you. Um, <laughs> all jokes aside, you're having to go through the process. You are having to actually, like, you will have to look at the stuff that is causing it this week. But this could be a really profound week of getting to the, you know, right to the point of what is actually creating this. It's kind of like the difference between tw tearing the head off of a, a, a weed and literally digging up the root, okay? So, you know, this could be like that. For your communications and conversations, you have the Page of Wands coupled with the Death card. This is you choosing to create or, or, or at least choosing to see where you're creating narratives that don't serve you. And I actually think that this could be a week where you're really allowing yourself to tap into and talk about your desires. This is where you're really like opening the lid on your personal cookie jar to say, you know what? I actually want to be the first millionaire in my family. Or actually, do you know what? I want a uh, partner that looks like this. Or like, this is about you really digging into what your desires actually are and finding the courage to speak about them. So this week, your conversations are probably gonna be going in the direction of what do you want? And where maybe, you know, you usually do the Piscean thing and you're like, oh, well, you know, this would be nice. I'm teasing you all. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, so, but this week, it's like things will take you to that point And this can be where you say, actually, 
this is what I want to create. Actually, this is what I want from life. Uh, when it comes to my career, this is where I would like to be. It's like this week you are able to be specific, you're able to be precise, and you're able to pinpoint what things really are or mean to you. And I am here for this. One of the things about Pisces energy, because it is so sort of universal, specifics and pinpoint stuff is not your forte. However, this week you are able to tap into that and maybe it's the scorpionic penetrating energy that it's giving you. So this is you really tapping into that. Do not waste this week and do not um, shy away for it. Like, I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm passionate about this for you guys because this could be a really powerful week of advancement. When we speak our desires and we have the guts and the energy to speak our desires out into the world in the broader daylight, they have all ability to truly come to pass. Um, for those of you that are in some form of academia, your... Um, Oh, come on brain, uh, your page of wands, this is gonna see you putting a very creative or artistic spin on things, and it might see you really starting to say, you know what, I'm actually having fun learning from this subject, or you know what, I'm gonna make the learning of this subject more enjoyable. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, I think that this could be you really finding your courage and saying to a boss, listen, this is not happening, like I'm not getting what I want, I'm not getting what I need. This is you being really honest and upfront, maybe in a playful way, but it's like you, there's an element of steel to it as well. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, I think this is you tightening up your business model. I think this is you getting really, really clear on a new vision, and more importantly, deciding to go after um, what you want and I kind of think this is going to come with maybe approaching your client base and or your demographics slightly if not very differently. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, one way that this may show up for you <laughs> is that you, um, this could see you being a lot more open to having some of those taboo talks and subjects. Like this might see you exploring things that are really taboo. Like for some of you, maybe you say, you know what, I think I want to explore Tantra. Or actually, you know what, I would like to be, um, What's it, you know, the life models, oh gosh, no, you'd have to kill, like, if you ever want to kill Raph, there you go. Public nudity is my absolute idea of, of hell, literal hell. When I go to hell, which I may do, um, <laughs> I will probably be naked in front of a big crowd of people. Um, <laughs> Overshare, uh, for your love and relations, you've got the star card. You have this underneath the nine of swords. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, uh, with the death card here, this could be a time where, um, this week, you and a partner may have, I don't think it's gonna be a clash, but I do feel like this is gonna be a difference of opinions on what the future actually might hold or looks like. Maybe for some of you, you're saying, um, you know what, I want a, I don't want children. Uh, and your partner's like, but we agreed that we would have them or vice versa. Uh, this could also be maybe about a move or a change of location. Maybe you want it and your partner doesn't or vice versa. There is a way forward because it comes up with the star card, which always says that there is always hope. There's always hope for working it out or finding a new way to do something. For those of you that are single and looking, this could be through an app, through a dating app, You've got, because it's the star card, which is technological, um, there's lots of fun, there's lots of banter, lots of flirtation. You've got the death card here, which means I would probably say if you're going to go down that route, you have to transfer into real life really quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. For your money and materials, you've got that Ace of Cups. Money looks good this week. Finances are good. And also, whatever shifts you're making in your work and or career, life or sector, they filter out into your finances because your money is really starting to improve. The Ace of Cups is a great card for physical health and vitality because it suggests warm, comfort, 
all of your needs being met, uh, certainly as well, this could be on a financial level. Uh, and then when it comes to your home and environment, this is a lot of enjoyment. And for some of you, this could be you welcoming somebody in. But like I said, it's almost like if you're single, you're meeting somebody either online or through somebody else, and then it transfers really quickly into, you know what, let's go for coffee. <coughs> Excuse me. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.